Hello there guys, it's Joel here, aka Galax, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today for a apartment tour, room tour, flat tour, whatever you guys want to call it. It's really glary, I'm probably going to take these off for the video. If you are new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. And that little trick that I've been banging on about for the past few videos. If you're already subscribed and you aren't getting my notifications, unsubscribe. Resubscribe and click the bell for notifications and that should work. A few people have said that's worked that have worked that has worked So hopefully that should work for you as well if that's what you want So yeah, I've been living here by myself since September um, I used to live with my best friend Danielle um, and she moved in with her boyfriend So I was like it's time for me to live alone um, I've lived in London for like four or five years now and I've never lived alone. Um, it's quite interesting I do like it a lot um, but Sometimes I do get lonely, but then I just call up Scott or my friends my mum and then um, it's fine. I do have people around quite a lot as well. I entertain. I'm a terrible host. Ask any of my friends. I never offer anyone a drink. Um, I don't drink hot drinks like tea or coffee, so I don't have them in the house either. So I'm just awful. But yeah, I thought I would give you an insight to where I've been living and what it's like. I'll try and link as many things as I can in the description box below if you are interested. I have got a discount code and an offer. Frames and the prints were all gifted by Decenio um, and the code is Galax for 25% off their site um, except for frames and like special promotional prints. Um, so it's just off like the main prints but it's 25% off from the 5th which is today, 5th of February till the 7th. Um, I put that info in the description box too. Um, so if you like a look, if you like the look of any of the frames, um, then you can get a discount as well. Um, I am not being paid. I don't make any money from if you use the code. I just literally got given the prints gifted as well. Um, so yeah. So I've just come outside my place and I'm filling in the corridor. So I'm going to try and be quiet. Um, I don't actually have this here anymore, but I used to have this all the time and I had to move it because I said it was health and safety, like against health and safety. But I have a doormat that says doormat in a kind of off-white kind of way. But I tried putting it inside, but it's too thick. So I have a doormat with no use. But I just wanted to show you guys because I thought it was really nice. But yeah, so that was a waste of 20 quid. Uh, I'll leave a link to it in the description below though if anybody wants a off-white-ish doormat. So you come into the flat, my would have been doormat. Um, you have a bathroom over there, my bedroom and then the lounge slash kitchen. Uh, so I'll start with the bathroom. Ta-da! Uh, I remember I showed people when I moved in like my shelves and stuff because they were super tidy, but they're not that tidy anymore. So yeah, I picked up uh, this little thing from Amazon the other week and my friend Tom recommended me because he got on one for his place too. Um, just to go over the bath because I would usually put loads of stuff at the end and it was kind of like piling up I've got this diffuser which I made in Singapore from Ula Lab My friend Tom also got me this Lush body scrub for Christmas And then I just picked up this little succulent from Ikea And then I have all my like bleach London shampoos and conditioners to keep my hair a little bit pink And then so these used to be really really tidy uh, And now not so much so it's just kind of a big mess or uh, mainly fashion blogger, I get sent a lot of skincare and hair care stuff. Well, I guess I do use the hair care stuff. But skincare, I've literally just been sticking to Heath. I've been using this face wash and body wash for like six months now, and it's all I use on my face to wash it. So if you're interested in what skincare ritual regime I did, it was that. Here I have more hair color stuff from Bleach. I've got some like peach, rose, that's what I've been using at the moment. Cloud busting, which I've been using as well. Uh, even when I was doing my hair silver, like I used their purple shampoo and like smoky conditioner and stuff like that. Uh, and then I've got all my scents and fragrances. Um, obviously, Jazz Club from Margella has gone all the way down. I've got a few from Le Labo, the Austin's fragrance, which I picked up the other week, uh, Marlin and Gertz, um, YSL, Jo Malone, Jean Paul Gaultier, Paco Rabanne and the Byredo Off-White, which is elevator music, which is really nice as well. Um, I tend to like throw on like two or three at a time, because uh, I just like to mix up the scents and fragrances, but I still not found like my signature scent, I don't think yet. Oh, I got those little plant pots from Ikea as well. I can't remember where this was from. It used to be for my pens, but then I thought I'd use it for my toothbrush and tongue cleaner. I'm also really picky about my towels. Like I really like white, fluffy towels. So now we come into my bedroom. 
And if you've seen my, oh wait. And if you've seen my wardrobe, um, how much is your wardrobe video, then you'll have seen like my wardrobe and stuff before. Um, but I didn't really explain this side of the room. Um, I love my bed a lot and this throw is the best thing ever. This is from John Lewis and I think it was like 90 pounds, which wasn't the most expensive. You get some for like 300, um, but this is softer than those. Here you just have a little chest of drawers that came with the apartment again. Um, this cat candle, which I've still never burned. It's got like a skeleton of the cat inside it. Um, and then just like diffusers, a big skull and pictures from mine and Scott's holiday. Um, bit of jewelry, this is where I put my jewelry when I'm not wearing it, just like all in one place. Laundry bag. Uh, I really love the lamps. They came with the apartment as well and the side tables. And I've got a little sleeping umbreon here right next to my bed as well, which clips onto my phone charger. Prince above the bed also from Decenio. And um, this is like two lips kissing. Um, even though you might think it looks like something else that my friend said, <laughs> it's not. It's just two people kissing and then two hands, which I really like as well. And then you have the wardrobe that wasn't big enough for me. So I got this, this lot from Ikea. So yeah, because the sun is on that side, it's just kind of light up from this way. Hello, this is also from Ikea, this mirror. And then the wardrobe bits itself were from Ikea too. I'll leave links to those in the description box. Um, and then you've got my clear Perspex boxes. Now, everybody listen, okay? These are from Box Inc. And if you ask in the comments, you've not watched the video. They're from Box Inc, okay? That's the question I get asked the most. It literally drives me insane because I tell people where they're from in the video that they don't watch it. Um, all my shoes then run underneath it as well because I have too many shoes for the boxes now. Um, and then my wardrobe with my bags here. If you want a more in-depth look at my wardrobe, then go to the how much is your wardrobe video because I literally go through every single piece um, in that. And up there I just used to store like luggage and big boxes, like I think that's a triple S box. And yeah, this wardrobe is just like a mess. Just full of like stuff. And <laughs> this is like my dirty secret. This is basically my Monica's closet if you watch Friends. This is like just a mess. Um, but basically they gave me like this chair and this table when I moved in, but I don't like them. So I put them in there and then I've had to like balance everything else on top. Uh, and that's my pendant light, but I can't have it up here because there's like no fitting for it. So it's just gonna have to stay there till I move to my next place. I almost forgot I have two bed buddies. Um, I have Pua from um, Moana, which my friend Mel lives in Hawaii. She sent me this. Um, which is very, very cute and it's super soft. And um, Scott for Christmas got me Gengar, which is one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, yeah. You're never too old for cuddly toys. <laughs> and then we come along the corridor into the lounge slash kitchen. Now the sunlight is coming from this way. So it's it looks quite dark when it's this way. There's my big mirror. You might recognize this from Instagram selfies that I take. Anyway, so you come you come in and this is the like kind of dining seating area. So we have a table and chairs which are from Conran. Um, and my neon sign which says nothing. I don't know if you can tell, but it literally says nothing. Uh, that was from a company called Signs in Berlin. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description below as well. That was custom. So you can choose like any word and they just make it into a neon sign for you. But then it was a nightmare to find someone that could put it up for me, but eventually found someone. On the table itself, this little crystal head vodka bottle was from my sister one year for my birthday or Christmas, I think, but I still not drank it. I literally don't drink at all. And if I do, definitely not vodka. <laughs> I just like the bottle. Uh, these salt and pepper shakers were from made.com. Uh, just like Polaroids from like mine and Scott's trip to Bali and uh, mine and Tom's trip to Korea and the Instax camera that made them. Um, so this is like really black waves and it says offline is the new luxury. And I thought that was quite relevant because offline is like the new luxury. Like if you have time away from the internet or away from your phone, it's considered like relaxation, like time out, like social media detox and it is really good for you. So I thought I'd get that print because it was so relevant. Coming over here, we have two more prints and these are like marbly kind of waves with like gold in the middle. At first I thought they were like the sea or something, but they are literally just like pools of marble and gold. So I thought they were really sick. Um, we then have the sofa, which is also from Conran and these pillows, these big fluffy velvet black cushions are from um, Habitat. The grey velvet ones are from made.com and so is that throw. 
Uh, I can't remember where I got my coffee table from. I just wanted a really thin, minimal black coffee table um, with glass on top. Uh, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. I'm sure it's on my emails somewhere. And the rug is from made.com as well. I love this rug so much. I do want the Ikea off-white rug, but literally until it actually comes out in person, it's going for like a grand on StockX. And I was like, I don't want to spend a grand on a rug that when it comes out, it's probably going to be like 200 quid. I literally feel like such an adult. Like I never thought I'd have coffee table books and now I do. But they are quite relevant to me. Um, the new fashion rules is a book by my friend um, in the fro. Um, so it's a book all about how the digital age has kind of like changed fashion. It's a really good read. Um, so I leave this on the side. And I got invited to the launch of the complete high snobiety guide to street fashion and culture. Just like the evolution of streetwear um, over the past few years. Um, so I leave those two on the side. Uh, picked up some plants the other weekend from Ikea. And I got these pots from Hay, which were from Goodhood. I don't actually even love plants that much, but a lot of my friends and my mum was like, you need some plants for your space. So I was like... Fine, so got some, gonna try and keep them alive. The TV actually uh, came with the place. Um, it's just LG. It's kind of basic though, like it doesn't even have, it has like one HDMI port. I got some like souped up speakers and stuff to go with it and it couldn't even connect because the TV only has like two ports at the back. So that's fine. I've got my Nintendo Switch. So I have this little kissy face one, which I really like, and the palm trees next to it as well. And I love how you can see the reflection of my neon sign in that as well. You can see it in most of the prints because of all the mirrors in the room as well. You can see in that one too. Ta-da! Yeah, and then you have my big IKEA um, mirror, which I had in my last place as well, which I've brought over. They don't actually sell this one anymore. This is the best one as well. It was called Stave. And it's just like, you could get it either white or black on the outline, but yeah, they don't do it anymore. Spinning around to here, we have this wire chair, which was from Maison du Monde. Again, a cushion from made.com. Plant from Ikea and plant pot from Goodhood. Uh, and yeah, another kind of sketch line illustration up here from Desenio. And then we move on to the kitchen. Now, I don't think I'm a bad cook, but I don't cook a lot and I'm very lazy in the kitchen. So this rarely gets used, but it does now and again, like I said, I'll host sometimes and try and cook. Um, but so I don't actually have much going on here. I have another little plant pot from Ikea um, and a bigger crystal head vodka, which I got given by VO5 when I went to a festival once. They gave me this as a present and that's how much vodka I drank in it in about two years. And then yeah, if you come to my fridge, I don't know if you know, but I talk about it on Instagram quite a lot. I get my, oh, Yannon got me these. This is so cute, this is a Pokemon drinks. Um, I get food delivered uh, nearly every day from Fresh Fitness Food. Um, so they create like a custom package to kind of what, you, what you're aiming for, whether you wanna like lose weight, put on muscle, that kind of stuff. So it's called Fresh Fitness Food and I, you buy it in blocks of days. Now it is on the pricey side, but when you think about how much you actually spend on food in a day anyway, um, and then cut it all down. It kind of makes sense. And I loved it so much that I actually bought 100 days of it. Um, and I'm loving it and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna continue it as well because the food is amazing. I don't have to prep anything. I literally just have to microwave a meal and it's really, really good, nutritious, healthy food. So winning. Before I forget as well, the balcony, the view is epic. I don't know what to do with this yet because obviously it's winter. So this, is the Balk. So yeah, I do have some epic views. Like, you can see the Gherkin is there. Um, Canary Wharf is over there. And then you've got like the Olympic Park, Stratford, just over there, um, which is pretty cool. So that is it for my apartment tour. I hope you've enjoyed having a nosy around my place. Um, any questions, do leave them in the comments below. Uh, let me know what you think as well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.